Hey, what's up, guys? It's Killing Times here, back another video. And today, I got myself another MRE ration, and this one is menu number seven: beef strips in seaweed tomato sauce. And this is one of the menus that I've been kind of looking forward to in the uh, case A that I received a while back. Um, I have tried the meatballs and tomato sauce. That one was pretty good. Um, though, I kind of wish there was a little bit of spaghetti in it, like most uh, tomato-based uh, rations usually have. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. So, of course, they got a peelable seal. Let's just go ahead and just open it up that way. And that's all the components we got inside. So of course the first things we got is beef strips and savory tomato sauce. Uh, looks like this is a date code of the 127th day of 2020. We got some white wheat snack bread. We have a Accessory kit B, which has salt, gum, tallowette, uh, toilet paper, and a beverage base powder. Got an MRE spoon. Got some blackberry jam. Got some MRE peanut butter. We got some nut raisin mixed with pan coated chocolate discs. Whatever exactly that means, I have no clue. Um, so that's probably the date code there 122nd day of 2020. We got an Irish cream cappuccino instant. I will eat this cold. Got a FRH. Huh. So it says it's chocolate pudding, but there is no chocolate pudding in here. Alright, well, there's the uh, nutritional facts. And the ingredients there. We do have some peppermint candy rings. I was looking forward to this. I thought the garlic mashed potatoes were going to be in here. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get this onto a tray and open everything up. Alright guys, now we got everything uh, set up. Let's go ahead and get that main heated up. Going to take our F reach. And I am kind of surprised that the meatballs and tomato sauce didn't have the garlic mashed pears, and I thought this menu had it. Uh, so we are going to take this and we are going to. Bend it like this, so every single bit of it gets heated, and then we're going to take our main, and we're going to slip it in there, 
So we have it like that. And a little bit of it gets in. Let's go ahead and add a bit of water. And you can hear the FRH going. Let's go ahead and all right. While that main is heating up, let's go ahead and get all the rest of the stuff out. I apologize if I am saying. Go at the quote, go ahead a lot, like I have been in my videos. I do apologize for that. It's a little bit of a habit I have. I do apologize. So there's a trail mix. Now let's see what the pan coated disc set talking about. Unless that's leading to the MMs. Which I think that is what they mean. So we have peanuts, M&Ms, almonds, raisins, and I don't know what else we have in here. Peanuts. That looks like cashews in a way, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and get those peppermint candies onto the tray. And they just look like peppermint candies. Bag smells like peppermints. That's cool. Let's go ahead and get this out. Pretty good looking piece of bread. Now let's go ahead and get the peanut butter out. And that main in that FRH may take as long as about 10 minutes. So whilst that is I'm going to take a piece of bread off just for the main. While we are waiting for that main, we are going to try a bunch of this stuff. While we're still waiting. If you guys in the comments could let me know if there's any other kind of menus that may have the um, garlic mashed potatoes because this is the second time that I have not found the garlic mashed potatoes and I'm really looking forward to actually trying it. Um, I thought the meatballs and tomato sauce had them. But they didn't. I thought that this menu had them. But it looks like a bust again. So. That peanut butter is good. Whether or not. Um, whoever I bought this from. Whether or not they just took them out. Or they don't have them in these menus anymore. Um, I do want to try that blackberry jam on its own now, real quick. I have not had a blackberry jam yet. I have had strawberry and.
guys can see the dark color of it. Looks pretty cool. Yep, just tastes like jam. Alright, let's go ahead and get those drinks. We got the Irish cappuccino. Go ahead and get this. And let's go ahead and get uh, our drink mix, and that is lemonade. We also have a moist Helouette, some gum. Some salt we may use for that main if needed, and also some toilet paper for after the meal. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and get these drinks all set and done, and I'll be back when the main is also heated up. Alright guys, the main is now all heated up. I'm going to go ahead and... out um, I do have the water for the um, drinks it's piping hot I'm gonna set this here I'm gonna also go and get the drinks all out This is the Irish Cappuccino. Looking good. And we also got the drink mix. Now it does say to add about 20 ounces of water, but I don't have 20 ounces. I only got a bottle of water, so we are just going to use that. And hopefully, I got more of a lemony flavor. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and get the main. Got big, big chunks of beef in there. Oh, that's hot. This is something you would definitely want to have, like a, uh, a pack of crackers or bread with. Looking very tender. Got your big pieces of beef. But for anything, I want to go ahead and try a little bit of everything else before then. So let's go ahead and get couple pieces of our trail mix got a little bit of everything Let's try it all right that trail mix is pretty good now let's go ahead and try the peanut butter and black jam blackberry jam That just tastes like standard 
peanut butter and jelly doesn't change at all. It's really good. Now let's go ahead and try the Irish cappuccino. As a person like myself that doesn't like coffee, anything that's cappuccino related, that's not overly bad. I mean, for those that might like coffee, that would be a drink that would be for you guys. But, as for me, I don't personally like coffee. I can't really stand the smell or taste of it. But, overall, that is pretty good. Now let's go ahead and try out the beef and tomato sauce. Have your chunks of beef and the tomato sauce. Let's try it. Very tender. Mm -mm -mm. That's where this comes in. You need some kind of crackers or something. There's so much sauce. Let's go and try this too. Mm. That works well with it. It's weird. The Tomato sauce almost tastes like homemade. I mean, I'm sure after eating a bunch of these in the field over time does kind of just hit you hard and it's just like, wow. Same thing over and over, nothing new. But this is pretty good. I mean, I'm not complaining. I actually like this. I gotta go in for another bite before we go ahead and try that uh, lemonade. Alright, let's go ahead and try this. Yeah, if you use about 14 or so ounces, that would taste really good. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, yeah, finish this up, and we'll go back for a recap. Hmm. Alright guys, we're back for a recap, and overall... This menu was pretty really good, pretty really good, <laughs> pretty good, and I mean, nothing to really complain about other than the uh, garlic mashed potatoes I thought were in this menu, supposedly they were in the meatballs menu, but that wasn't in there, so I thought they were going to be in this one, because I saw it online, it was, but same thing. We just found out it's not in here. But other than that, overall, this was a really, really good menu. I liked all the components in it, especially that beef. Very tender, very saucy. Didn't need salt, wasn't bland, nothing. Um, the only thing I do kind of recommend if you ever do try this, um, make sure you do have crackers or another piece of bread on you so you can have it with that main. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on video videos. Um, and like always guys, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day guys.